All of the problems covered in my videos can be downloaded at accountingworkbook.com. If you go to the website, click the PDF link. You can download a copy of the workbook for yourself. Also on the website, you'll find links to all of my accounting videos, not just the ones I've uploaded to YouTube. I've uploaded over a hundred extra videos on this website that you can't find on YouTube. So I do hope you'll check out accountingworkbook.com. All right, let's begin our problem. In this group of videos, we're going to tackle problem 8-2-A, a depreciation problem. And when we look at this problem, we're going to look at three different depreciation methods. This video, we'll look at the straight line method. Next video, units of production. And in the third and final video, double declining balance. So to do the straight line method, as the name suggests, it's the most straightforward. Um, maybe I should read the problem first though. So on January 1st, 2017, Table Company purchased a new piece of equipment for $150,000. The equipment had an expected useful life of five years and an expected residual value of $40,000. I don't think we've mentioned this term yet, residual value. And what the term means is, what we expect the value of our asset to be after we're done with it. So it's a $150,000 asset. We're going to use it for five years. Then we're going to get rid of it, but it's not worth zero after the five years. We think it's going to be worth 40 grand. So there's this little calculation we'll do at the start of any straight line uh, depreciation. I just put SL for straight line. Uh, and the little calculation is the cost of the asset, in this case it was 150 grand, minus the residual value, the expected residual value, in this case it was 40 grand, equals the amortizable cost. And that's just the amount we intend to amortize our asset. And we intend to amortize this asset by 110,000. Actually, uh, amortizable, let's call that the depreciable depreciable cost. That's the amount we expect to depreciate our asset by. So $110,000 of depreciation is expected. Uh, let's read on. Uh, the company expected that in those five years, the machine would operate for this many hours, and that's going to be all well and good, but we don't care about the hours for a straight line. We just care about like the number of years, and the thing's going to be useful for five years. So we got this $110,000 asset we think will be useful for five years, 110,000 divided by five. Uh, what is that, $22,000 per year? So we own this for 2017 from January to December 2017. That's important. So the year 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, and 2021, we own it. If we own it exactly five years, we're gonna own it until December 31st, 2021. In other words, we own it for full years. So uh, I like to do this when I have partial years. In this case though, the number of months of ownership in 2017, January to December, 12 months. 12, 12, 12, and January to December, 12 months. These are This is a full year of amortization. That's why I wrote the question this way. When we do 8-3, they'll we'll see partial years. But it's good to get in the habit of just figuring out, okay, how many months am I expecting to own this thing for? Um, so if I own it for 12 months and my, my rate is 22 grand a year, obviously if I owned it for like six months, I would take half a year of amortization, right? Six out of 12. Uh, in this case though, it's 22,000 bucks a year. I own it for a full year. So my straight line amortization is going to be 22,000 for each year. And of course, if I add that up, it adds to $110,000. So we've done straight line. It's as the name suggests for each full year of amortization, if I were to graph this, it would look like a straight line, you know, here's my uh, cost. This is time and 22K on the cost side. 
It would just look like a straight line. It's 22K in year one, in year two, in year three, in year four, in year five. It's 22 grand every year. That is a straight line, right? That's as straight as a straight line gets. And it's uh, pretty easy to do. Um, okay. Let us carry on then. And in our next video, we'll examine units of production.